Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here. As a recording of this, it is Monday, July 31st, 2023. I am in South Pasadena right now. I've been in Southern California for the last couple of days. Went to Midsummer Scream over the weekend. Got up this morning and heard the news. It's been a few hours ago, the news kind of broke. If I am the first person delivering this to the viewers out there, I have some, some sad information that Paul Rubens, the creator of the character, Pee Wee Herman, also not only came up with that idea, but also developed it, honed his craft, his comedy craft, and did the movie, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, which is a huge staple in my life. 1985, came out the same year, which in a very interesting twist was filmed in the same area that Back to the Future, one of my other favorite 80s films, was also filmed in South Pasadena. And I am here on Oxley, and right down there was the house, the screen used house from Pee Wee's Big Adventure. So I'm gonna go by there, and then I'm also going to go to the Hollywood Walk of Fame and look at the Pee Wee star. Now he, on, on the interwebs and social media, he really embraced the character of Pee Wee Herman. In fact, he even called himself Pee Wee Herman when he would sign things, but he was Paul Rubens. Also did the voice of Rex from Star Tours, the original Star Tours. And now when you go to Galaxy's Edge, if you go into the cantina, he is DJ Rex. So the voice of Paul Rubens is at Disney. And also another 80s classic that I really love, Flight of the Navigator. He did the voice of the spaceship in Flight of the Navigator. So just gonna kind of be a, a somber day. Gonna try to keep spirits up just a little bit, but definitely this one, this one kind of hit me. Uh, I think the last quote unquote celebrity that I mourned to this level for was Robin Williams, which was many years ago. Join me, I'll walk over there, shall you? Yeah, I really gotta say, this is a, uh, this is something, this is a spot that I've covered the filming locations of Pee Wee's Big Adventure. In fact, one of the first filming locations in great detail that I covered was, in fact, Pee Wee's Big Adventure many, many years ago. And I've been by here, I don't know, probably a dozen times since. Every time I'm in South Pass, I always have to come by here. The house is in really good shape. It looks a little bit different than it did, but the character of Pee Wee had everything around in the yard here. You know, all the interesting fixtures, the neighbor, he told he was gonna water his lawn. He turned the, the water hose on. This is also where Francis walked up. The, I know you are, but what am I seeing? Happened right on the corner over there. And people have put flowers out here in memory of Paul. So this is that very iconic moment here where Pee Wee, played by Paul Rubens, is walking around from the back down here with the bike and Francis stops him at the corner, wants to buy the bike. He said, it's not for sale. What's so funny, Pee Wee? Everything's negotiable. It all happened right here. Pee Wee was on the ground laughing. I don't make monkeys, I just train them. <laughs> Just classic, so good. Now I would imagine when I get over to the Hollywood Walk of Fame and Pee Wee Star, there's gonna be even more condolences and flowers that are gonna be left there. Yeah, this one, this one definitely, that definitely gets me. Yeah, you know, it's just a piece of nostalgia. It's a piece of uh, 80s kid. I was born in 74, so in 85 I was 11 years old. This, this, is, a, this, is, a, this is a tough one. Now, while I've been standing here and just kind of walking around down this, this sidewalk, there's been probably four or five people that have pulled up, got out, taken photos as well. So a little, little story about the 80s. I used to rent VCRs from a video store back when 
my family couldn't afford to buy a video cassette recorder or a video VHS recorder. So we'd rent them from the video store. We'd always rent Pee-wee's Big Adventure, Back to the Future, and then whatever else we could get five movies for the weekend. There's a squirrel right there. And what would happen is, eventually Back to the Future and Pee-wee's Big Adventure went on sale as used copies. So my mom and dad bought my sister and I, Pee-wee's Big Adventure, well, for the family as well, Pee-wee's Big Adventure and Back to the Future in the late year of 1985 or maybe into 86. And we would just sit there almost every day and watch BTTF, Back to the Future, and Pee-wee's Big Adventure. I have the movie memorized. It's like a huge part, a huge part of my life. So with anything that kind of has nostalgia, it really hits home when, you know, something that you've cherished for decades, decades, and you just have ingrained in your head and a piece of your youth and a piece of your childhood and, you know, something that's, that makes you happy and makes you laugh when, you know, when that role, that iconic person who developed that role passes on, there is a sadness inside. It's, it's definitely a fate that we're all going to reach with 70. He always looked a little younger, played roles a, ro younger than you would think he think he was. A, I think he was in the, there was a vampire movie he played the vampire in, which was pretty good. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the movie, he was the vampire in that. But obviously Pee Wee was his biggest role. And then DJ Rex, well Rex, old school would be Rex, and then now DJ Rex. So he's going to live on forever through his voices. Very talented. Also, he was a Nightmare Before Christmas. Played one of the characters in Nightmare. All right, my head over to, to the boulevard. Also, fun fact, around the back, that is Screen U's original garage. It's around back. There's still the, the, the board back there for the basketball court that's around the back. Uh, I'm not going to walk around the back, but when I did my video back in 2000, Gosh, was it 13, 2012, 2011? It's been a long time ago. The then owners of this property came out, asked me what I was doing, and a very nice lady that used to live here, possibly still lives here, I'm not sure who owns it now, said, you can come around the back and, and film. So I got around the back and filmed and got to show where he pushed, he pushed the little button around the back to, to the secret little stash where his, the bike was. Also, for a while, this house was in a little bit worse condition, a little bit of disrepair. And over the years, they've really fixed it up. It is really in nice shape now. So well done to the owners for really keeping it looking good. Another interesting tidbit about the filming locations, where he wrecks his bike was right on that corner, right over here on the corner of Milan and Oxley. He comes across hits into there, flips into the yard. The whole I meant to do that, right there. And you can just see, there's a lot of people keep pulling over here, myself included. And this will be a spot every time I'm in South Pasadena. I always like to, if I, you know, with friends, always come by here and go, this is the Pee Wee house. It'll always be the, the Pee Wee house from Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Heading over to the boulevard now. Stop by uh, people selling flowers on the side of the road by Forest Lawn. I picked up some flowers for the star. Got a parking spot over here, just off Wahanga. Never parked over in this area. Usually I park near the Chinese Theater. Now, the star, his star, I have showed many, many times when I used to live in Hollywood. I'd always walk the boulevard and show certain things. And the store window next to the Pee Wee star 
has a peewee doll. I'd always show that back in the day. Little did I know that at some point I would be returning here to place some flowers. Now I know he is not there or will not end up being there, but he was there when they dedicated the star. There's some photos of him. I think it was in the late 80s he got it, maybe early 90s that he got it. It's more of a symbolic thing to let people know that he was respected and admired. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna place these on his on his Walk of Fame star. And here's a photo I found. There he is in that very iconic suit and the bow tie. Not the boomerang bow tie, but a bow tie with a smaller version of the star that they gave him. And then there's the big one that I'm gonna visit right around the corner. Always a really beautiful moment, I'm sure, for most celebrities to, to get something on the Walk of Fame. Hundreds, thousands of people a day walk by and looking at the ground and you know, notice, noticing people and their accomplishments. Here he is right there, a little smile on his face. Right here on the corner of Schrader and the Boulevard, and it looks like there's already some people up here. Hey, you got the stars right along. Some, not every star has been acquired yet, but some of them are. I even got some news people out here. Paul Rubens, Pee Wee, right next to Mandy Moore. Linda Carter down here. We'll take a look over here in the corner. There is Pee Wee with the megaphone right there. My Channel 4 is out here. I'm going to put mine right down here. as the day progresses and more people pass by, they're gonna pay their respects as well. Oh, look at the secret word down here. Today's secret word is thank you. You got the little rubber ducky right there. Got a candle lit. Right here on the corner of Whitley and the Boulevard, the other cross street I just mentioned was just one block down. And it's right next to the Hollywood, Hollywood Toy and Costume Shop which is always very interesting. They recreated this building and the one I just showed across the way over here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. That was a little Disney reference. Because Paul did voices for Disney as well. A little tie-ins, pop culture, Disney, the 80s. Think of the 80s. Definitely think of him. An 80s icon. It wasn't Beach Blanket Bingo, but I remember Back to the Beach. He was in that as well. I think he was also in the Blues Brothers movie. And then he had the, the early Saturday morning. It wasn't, a, it wasn't animated. I mean, there was like, well, I guess, no, it wasn't all animated. Like Cher Cherry and Sit Right. What was the, I'm trying to think of the theme song. Come on in and pull yourself up a chair, a cherry. It's time to let down, let, let down your hair. Pee Wee's Playhouse. They used to have some of the little toys from that as well. 
at Pee Wee's Playhouse. But Pee Wee's Big Adventure for me was the big one. Big Top Pee Wee was fun. To be honest, I never saw the newer one, the third one that just came out a few years ago. But Pee Wee's Big Adventure, just a huge, huge part of my life. Look at Pee Wee over there, just looking at all the onlookers. Kind of wonder if some people, you know, might not even know who Paul Rubens was or Pee Wee was, even though they've seen him in, in films, they might not recognize the name. And it's also should be noted that it does not say Paul Rubens on the star. In fact, it is Pee Wee on the star. Again, he really embraced the, the character and, and used that. I'm sure he got called Pee Wee more than he got called Paul by, you know, most people who weren't in the industry. See a little smurf down here. Right there. So you got some little rocks here, some little stars. Mine there as well. <laughs> this costume shop really does have a pretty vast selection of items. Look at Chucky over here in the window. Pretty good selection of this Hollywood shop. The wigs as well. There's also a wig stylist on duty there. I'm really glad they placed the wreath. I always wonder who placed the big wreath and the if that's done by you know the Chamber of Commerce perhaps, or if that is done by you know the organization that when you get a star, that is something that happens at your passing, if they will put the you know the wooden standee there and then everyone else will bring it out or if just you know a dedicated fan brings that out someone that someone that brings it out I was looking at what was posted it says Paul asked any expression of sympathy be made in honor of his late parents Judy and Milton to stand up to cancer so I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna donate a little bit to his cause that was, that was his last wishes so all the years of entertainment that's what I'm gonna do they give you the option to choose choose the amount there. Cover transaction costs and credit card. And I know it's not a lot, but at least it's something. Many years ago when I did the filming locations, it's been probably over a decade now, with my friend Justin Scard, him and I did a, we tracked them all down or tracked them all down. And Paul himself, under the moniker of Pee Wee, commented on the video and this I've had this on my Facebook page for a long time into the photos you know back before a lot of people were doing videos of filming locations I did this and I guess it really kind of touched a nerve with them and he left a comment on the video itself said he watched the whole thing said it was amazing Really incredible and flattering. A lot of great memories. The western town of Warner Brothers was actually Burbank Studios when they made Big Adventure. Where he threw the boomerang bo bo boot bow tie is long gone. I have trouble speaking. You missed that one when you were at Warner Brothers. Really just razzing you. What an incredible walk down memory lane. Thanks. And it's just something I kind of treasure to know that he got a kick out of seeing the locations. I know a lot of people have done them since, but... Evidently, he hadn't seen one probably since he made the movie, so that meant a lot to me. I wonder what year it was I made the, did the locations. It's been 10 years ago. There's me and my friend Justin Scard. Over 10 years ago. Look at that. He's easily searchable, anyone that wants to watch. Probably, probably, not, probably by today's standards, I probably could have done a little bit better and better job, but and I had to crunch it down to fit. That was back when YouTube, you could only have 15-minute uploads. He had to crunch everything down to 15 minutes. Times have changed. It's hard to get a lot of content for an entire movie in 15 minutes back then. That's why it's so quickly edited like that. I also got inside the diner, the wheel in diner, before they tore it down. That's been seven years ago. Also, every time I go to Cabazon, I always gotta stop at the dinosaurs. Love Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Thankfully, 
I got in the diner before it was torn down. My wallet's gone. I do like the good amount of people that are all paying their respects there at the Star. And I've kind of turned around and did a U-turn on over here next to Buster, the dinosaur, popping out of the top of Ripley's. But next to that, it's the old Max Factor building. I'm waiting for the light to change, which is the Hollywood Museum, which I have not seen open in a long time. But they used to have one of the bikes from Pee-wee's Big Adventure. I think there was three screen used ones. They had one in there. I was gonna stop in and show it, but the door is all sealed up, so not gonna be going in there. But if you're ever in the area and you wanna see one of the actual bikes that were in the movie that was used in the film, they're inside that Hollywood museum there, right here next to Buster. As soon as the light changes green, I'm gonna drive back down the other, back down the opposite way, Hollywood Boulevard, on well, Hollywood and Highland right now. I named the dinosaur Buster because he's busting through the roof. What a clever name. That guy's running across the road quickly before the light changes. Really gets you thinking how you can, you can feel like you know someone or develop, I don't want to say a friendship, but you can develop a connection to someone through their work, even though you're really not acquainted with them or not even friends with them. That's kind of how I feel about the, the character of Pee Wee. There's like quite a few like that. Just make you feel a certain way, give you some nostalgic vibes. You can uh, vibes. You can reminisce a little bit about memories that you've shared watching them perform, watching their films. And the world has lost another another great one. I mean, all art is dependent on the person watching it, so not everyone is going to be into a certain artist or performer. I have a lot of good memories though, watching watching Pee Wee from back in the day, starting in 85, watching that film for the first time and then after that watching a lot of his other work. Well that's going to do it for today. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.